Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Thursday, September 6th, 2018. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES. We've seen a little bit of a counter trend rotation here. This is something we were expecting a little bit last week. Uh, we were looking for signs that price may see a little bit of a pullback to retest that 28.78 half. I mentioned at the time that bulls would be looking to defend that level for a shot at continuing higher. And if there's any failure to stay above that level, there could be a break that leads us to the next support level down, somewhere maybe 27.90, maybe a little bit higher, 28.10. So again, how much more do we pull back? Uh, overall, the trending market has remained intact. Every pullback has still remained a buying opportunity, depending upon, uh, again, how long that pullback has gone. Some of them have been quick pullbacks and goes. Some of them take a little bit longer. Where are we here? Uh, it's been my understanding here we had a strong August and July here, especially for the ES. And September could be more mild sideways here as this thing builds up and builds energy for another push higher. But still, the trend remains intact. 28, uh, 55 here is going to be very important. Any pullback to that midpoint could be a great buying opportunity if we were to get below 78 half. So 78 half is still the key level to watch. It's the top of the key range from the January highs. And again, we could trade up here for a while. And if we fail, all of these late longs will have their stops run back to the next lowest support level. So again, this is a zone to keep an eye on. 28, 78, very important area here. Keep an eye on this zone as we head into the rest of the day. 2900 remains the key level here on an intraday basis. If we take a look at the NQ, you'll notice here the NQ has had a little bit more of a slide. The previous session here, we had uh, tech executives uh, testifying before the Senate, Twitter, uh, and also Facebook. And you can see here a little bit of a sell off that occurred uh, during that day here. Again, we are still inside a trending market. We continue to hold above the midpoint of the previous month's range. We could dip as low as that zone and still be a buying opportunity for a late month move. So again, uh, right now, the NQ wall is pulled back a little bit, and we may still see a little bit more weakness. You can see here, here's the trading uh, range, the channel. We're coming right back down to the bottom of the range, just like we did last time, and we could be looking at another squeeze uh, down the road here. Is it tomorrow? Is it next week? Monday, Tuesday? We'll see. Uh, but again, pullbacks right now to be defended unless 7440 can no longer be held. All right, let's take a look now at crude oil. Here's crude. We had a significant rejection uh, on Monday, or sorry, rather Tuesday, and that signif significant rejection occurred at the previous month's high. It also occurred at natural resistance at an LVN, uh, and it's taken off pretty nicely here. Again, the idea here was that we could drop as low as 6630s safely with a shot to go even lower into the 6430s. So right now, again, any pullback, any failed new high, any defense off the midpoint from yesterday's range, those types of things, so 69, 69, 10, could be an opportunity for bears to defend and continue to push this thing downward. So any pullback, even if it's a failed new high, could be a great opportunity to sell this as we continue to work toward the next two lowest support levels, 63, 6430 and 60, uh, 630. All right, let's take a look now at the RTY. I mentioned RTY is sitting right above a very, very important area of uh, resistance. This resistance level, 1720, has been intact for a while. Here's the key range. And you can see the midpoint of that range, the bottom, and it coiled up inside uh, the neutral zone of that range, getting an upside break. Typically speaking, that is very, very bullish and suggests that there could be more expansion ahead. After this compression here saw expansion to the upside, we've seen the moving averages come up to provide support. Pullbacks to the trigger zone have been defended. And even today, a perfect midpoint retest in overnight trading so far for early bulls to come in and defend that could provide an opportunity to try to push higher but if there's any failure of this move all the bulls that came in on all these tails to defend could let go of that trade and again we could be heading a little lower so overall let's call it 1710 the bottom of this range here very very important 1720 overall continues to be important 
that's the general zone that bulls need to generally keep bid. And if so, we could be looking at a very nice squeeze here. The next upside targets for the Russell 2000 uh, are going to be 1765 and 1809. And 1809 comes to us from this key range here, that key range that, that formed here. That's the 50% target. That's 1765. That could be hit sometime early next week. And then this is the 100% target uh, of this range. And again, that could be hit sometime later on this month. That's 1809. If you look at this low of the month so far, as it currently stands, the upside projection for the month based off average monthly range is 1786.60 to 1811.10. That could be a very nice range to target if the bulls can keep 1720 bid. So that's the idea here. Can the market get going to the upside? and provide another bounce opportunity or is there going to be a failure through 1720s alright lastly taking a look here at Bitcoin we've had 8 percent down day today price taking out the 6700 level I mentioned that a pullback here could be a great opportunity to defend 6700 and keep this thing going higher 6700 taken out and price drops as low as 6230 today again I mentioned before 6700 was the big level to hold here to keep this intact uh, but each rotation right now is seeing smaller and smaller bounces and I think that's gonna put more and more pressure on 6k until that level gives out again bulls are gonna continue to defend but with lower and lower highs I think it's gonna get harder and harder to defend that zone and at some point we may need a major shakeout leg we've been talking about this time and time again here are your lower highs here is your flat support typically speaking a descending pattern like that breaks to the downside so again we could be very very close to significant weakness in Bitcoin if prices cannot maintain above 6k alright that is it for now let's see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session good luck trade well and I'll see you soon